Hi, I'm Leslie. Let's talk about vibrato. What is vibrato? A vibrato is a device for us to use when we want to bring out certain emotional aspects of a piece. It's a device that we use to enhance certain expressions in a piece of music. So there are many, many different types of vibratos and it's a very personal thing. Some people prefer to use less, some people prefer to use more vibratos. Let's explore that today. Basically, it's playing a note in tune and making it out of tune. You vary with the frequency, the speed, and the amplitude, the width. and you end up with a vibrato. In order to make your vibrato smooth and regular, you have to relax your fingers. And again, think of your fingers as with the um, left hand tension exercises. We think of our fingers starting from the elbow. And if you think your fingers starting from here, coming all the way to your fingers, and if you cling on again, right? Remember we talked about clinging on to a tree branch cling on to the neck of the cello. If you cling on and use the weight of your elbow and your arm, you will not have any problems. Now, if you end up squeezing, you will have a horrible jerky vibrato. So now just cling on and you've got your vibrato there. But never ever do this. Don't do a roll. With this, I essentially start flat and I end up on pitch. With the rolling vibrato, you're essentially out of tune all the time. Remember the rolling exercise that we did for the left hand tension tutorial? It's transferring the weight from finger. Alright, so with the vibrato, I like to start with the second finger because my second finger has the most natural vibrato. So now transfer it to the third finger. Back the second. even more slowly and do maybe just four for each um, four oscillations two three four one two three four two three four one two three four now faster and when you're successful with this don't add on any more for the moment. Just to get the feel of how it transfers to the other fingers. Start with the second finger again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Go back to your third. Fourth. Very often when we come to the fourth finger, we forget to transfer the weight and we start loading everything onto the fourth finger by lifting and squeezing. Instantly you're out of tune because you're pushing it forward like that and you won't be able to sustain a, a nice vibrato for long. So again, think of using your arm to vibrate, not the hands. Do not roll. So let's talk about amplitude now. Amplitude is width. It's also an intensity that comes with vibrato. So if you want something that is quiet, perhaps you use less amplitude, less width. Or even more quiet. This is gentle. Now if you want something more intense, you increase it. 
quieten it. Let's talk about speed. Speed also adds or takes away an emotion. So if you want a quieter moment in your music, perhaps a slower vibrato, a lazier vibrato. If you want something more intense, more nervous, a faster vibrato. So now that we have an arsenal of vibratos to use, Okay, let's just put them to musical examples. For example, the opening of Dvořák's um, cello concerto. It's declamatory, it's strong. You want to grab the attention of the audience right away. So it's a big, fat vibrato, fast, huge amplitude. Or the opening of the Lalo. For something more intimate, perhaps um, a much smaller vibrato then, right? Something more regular, something um, not so fast that it's nervous. So, um, in Brahms. It's quiet. Now, let's see what happens when I increase the speed of my vibrato. I really don't think we want that because that's quite nervous. So far we've talked about the straightforward vibrato. We feel an emotion and we match it with a certain amplitude and speed of vibrato. What about something more complex? For example, in the opening of the E minor Brahms cello sonata. Do you begin? <laughs> something more complex, sort of a waking up of emotions perhaps. You start off almost with nothing. You go big. You come back down. Opening of the Schumann cello concerto. My vibrato wakes up. So that creates complexity. It brings you, it brings the audience into your soul, it brings the audience into your heart. And it's not just a straightforward black and white. The colouring takes on different shades and everything becomes more complex. And it becomes more interesting to the listener. Do we do it because we have no control of our fingers? So if I use my vibrato a bit more carefully and a bit more judiciously. A vibrato, remember, is like an accessory, it's like makeup. Don't spread it all around your face. So you choose carefully. So for example, for the Schumann again. I don't vibrate so violently for the F. I go into the downbeat. But I go away from the, the downbeat. Now I begin again, I build up. And I go away from the downbeat here. So how do we know when to choose a particular type of vibrato or how do we know when to vibrate? The best thing is to practice without vibrato, slowly, and to use your ears. And remember, it is your right 
arm that needs to be expressive, not your left. The left helps the expression by vibrating in certain spots. vibrato to express yourself. I already said that the expression should come from our right arm, our right hand, from the bow. This is your voice. And if you cannot sing properly, no, ma no matter what amount of vibrato you put in, you will not sound good or expressive. So yes, you can express yourself very well without the vibrato. The easiest emotion to express would be that of coldness or perhaps a lack of emotion. Day, think of what you feel about the music. Think of what you want to do and what you can do to enhance the emotions that you feel should be present in the music. And if you cannot do it with your right arm or right hand, then you won't be able to do it with your left. At the end of the day, remember the vibrato is merely an accessory. It is makeup. And if you cannot express yourself from your heart or with your right arm, with your bow, then you won't be able to do it with the vibrato. The vibrato will only enhance what you can do beautifully with your right hand. Remember that. Have fun exploring!